A new study published last week showed that snakes kept in enriched environments had an increase in brain volume compared to the snakes kept in non-enriched environments. In this study, 15 hognose snakes were kept for an entire year. Three males and five females were housed in enriched conditions. The remaining two males and five females were housed in the non-enriched standard condition. After one year, all the snakes were euthanized and their brains cut out. These brains were then scanned and they found the following. Snakes housed in the enriched environments had significantly larger brains than those housed in the standard environments. In particular, it was the midbrain and the hindbrain of these snakes that showed the most dramatic change. The increased use of navigational skills and increased movement and locomotion caused increased demand on their cerebellum and these areas of the brain were used more, which naturally is going to mean increased neuron activity, strengthening of neural pathways, and it's essentially a case of use it or lose it. The snake's brains react to complexity and enriched environments in the same way that birds and mammals do. The authors then state that standard reptile housing conditions, i.e. minimalistic conditions, stunt brain growth and have negative effects on cognition and welfare. Now where have we heard that before? Two years ago I gave a talk that went kind of semi-viral in the snake community. And it's like the muscles. If you go to the gym, your muscles get bigger. If you don't use it, your muscles atrophy. It's the same with the brain. You can have stru certain structures in the brain will get larger than others. I talked about if we put these animals in conditions with no environmental enrichment whatsoever, we're gonna have a breakdown of neural pathways, an increased fear response, and an inability to cope. I talked about how this all happens in anything from a sea slug to the brain of a honeybee, up to mammals, birds, rattlesnakes, and of course, the snakes we keep in our pet homes. To which you got backlash within the breeding communities of people that are clearly are keeping in minimalistic conditions without the enrichment. Their brain can't realize that there's a light and what the light is because we've never given them the light. You get lights when you open or, it up. Or there's a branch. <laughs> it doesn't know to climb because it's never had the opportunity to climb in, on a branch. So that's the stupidest thing ever. Th the reason why when we give these animals to, to people who put them in big enclosures, they don't do well is because we fuck them up in the racks. Oh my God. Yeah, that's basically what I'm I getting from I wonder where it. this guy went to school. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, a failed what? education system so, there. So that one didn't age quite so well. There was people trying to decredit me, I got death threats, all of the above, and now we have evidence of physical brains taken out of the heads of snakes and shown the increase in brain size in certain areas and overall. So it isn't opinion, it isn't people's emotions, it isn't anthropomorphism, it isn't fluffy, it's matter of fact. If we do not give snakes brains something to do, they will not develop appropriately compared to those that do have things to do. I will link the study down below for you to read through it yourself and I'll see you in the next video.